Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you the construction of the psychrometric chart. So before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also, if you find this video helpful, please like the video. Also, if, any, if you have any doubt, please mention in the comment section below. Do check out my other videos. All the links are given in the description. Do follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus to stay connected. All the links are given in the description at the end. Now starting with the video. So construction of psychrometric chart. First, I would be explaining you how to construct the saturation line. Then in the next topic, I would be explaining you how to construct the constant specific volume lines. Then constant enthalpy lines. Then constant relative humidity lines. And finally constant wet bulb temperature lines. So let's start so saturation line we know saturation line the relative humidity is 100 percent and uh, the specific humidity formula is 0 0.622 into p p upon pt minus p so because it is saturated so i have taken the subscript s so omega s will be 0 0.622 into ps upon pt minus ps so ps will be the saturation pressure corresponding to the dry bulb temperature and pt will be the total temp total pressure if you are drawing the psychrometric chart at atmospheric pressure so the so the total pressure would be the atmospheric pressure 760 mm hg or 1.01325 bar and ps will be the saturation pressure corresponding to dry bulb temperature so how you can draw the saturation line to draw any line you need two points all right so two or more than two points so you can easily draw the line so how to find the points we know that psychrometric chart on the x axis it is the dry bulb temperature on the y axis it is the specific humidity now you take arbitrarily you take 20 degree celsius 30 degree celsius 40 degree celsius 50 degree celsius any all right these are the dry bulb temperature you can take arbitrarily and then corresponding to these dry bulb temperature find the saturation pressure from the steam table what you have to do first you take arbitrarily any Dry bulb, dry bulb temperature whether 20 21 degree 22 degree i suggest you take in 5 to 10 degree celsius gap like 20 25 30 or 20 30 40 45 and so on then find out the saturation pressure corresponding to these temperatures then you put the saturation pressure obtained from the steam table corresponding to a particular dry bulb temperature in this equation when you put the saturation pressure in this equation then you will find omega s that is the specific humidity at that particular temperature so you will be having dry bulb temperature you will be having the corresponding w that is specific humidity so you go perpendicular from that particular temperature suppose i have taken 20 30 40 degrees celsius all right now what you have to do first you find the saturation pressure from the steam table at 20 degrees celsius 30 degrees celsius 40 degrees celsius then you use this formula you substitute the values you find omega first i have taken 20 degrees celsius so i have found out the partial pressure from the steam table then i have used this formula omega s is omega s is equal to 0.622 into ps upon pt minus ps i have substitute i have substituted the partial pressure here i found out omega s then this is the value in y x is already known that is dry bulb temperature so we have x and y coordinate we have a particular value so you plot how you can plot you move up from 20 degree celsius first you take some scale 
on x axis to represent variable temperature then you mark 20 30 40 then you move up from 20 degree celsius and similarly you take a scale on y axis to represent omega that is a specific humidity so omega at 20 30 and 40 so correspondingly from omega at 20 move left side draw a dashed line wherever they intersect that would be a particular point shown by here shown as the cross point here similarly you can find two or more than two points similarly you have to repeat the steps for 30 degree celsius 40 degree celsius now you find the partial pressure the saturated pressure at 30 degree celsius you again use this formula you find the omega corresponding to 30 degree celsius again you move up from 30 degree celsius you move left from omega at 30 degree celsius wherever they intersect this would be the next point similarly you do for 40 degree celsius so you will get three points so you join by hand using a smooth curve and this would be representing your saturation curve or saturation line of the psychrometric chart i hope i made myself very clear now if you have found this video helpful please like the video if you have any doubt comment like share subscribe for the constant for the relative humidity lines i have not included all the five major uh, that is saturation line relative humidity line wet bulb temperature constant enthalpy and uh, specific volume i have not included in this single video i have made separate videos just to keep it clear and simplified so now if you want to watch how to draw constant uh, relative humidity line please click on the links in the description i have given all the links of relative humidity lines constant specific volume lines wet bulb temperature lines and constant enthalpy lines so i hope you have found this video helpful now to watch constant sorry relative humidity line please press the link given in the description below and you would be directed by the youtube to watch that video similarly all the links of other videos are given in the description take care bye bye wherever i go wherever i see i remember